Hello friends welcome to brains gossip today we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of alternating current over direct current both of these currents play an important role in our modern society but did you ever notice one thing in case of transmission we always prefer to use ac and whenever we need to use it in high tech electronic devices we convert it into dc but for this purpose we need to use another device which is known as an adapter these adapters are however not very cheap thus if you need to buy an adapter for your laptop it may cost around 1000 to 2000 rupees according to indian currency and for the mobile charger you may need to pay 300 to 1000 rupees now the question arises that if most of the time we need the electricity in the form of dc then why do we need to first prefer ac then transform it again to dc to answer this question we need to go back to the history where we can come across the war between ac and dc which was known as the current war but before going into further discussion let's watch the trailer of a movie named as the same thomas alva edison boys Trust you brought your checkbooks. I'm so full of ideas it will take me 12 lifetimes to execute it. I'm working on something now, something so new that the world will never be the same. Hello, I'm George Westinghouse. Edison's new electric system is uh, significantly cheaper than gas. Does that keep you up at night? There's always more to see. We are going to be big. Edison says he's months away from lighting up the world. Stoves, washing machines, electric carriages. I could do the same thing with electricity that I do with gas. Westinghouse Electric Company. Edison Electric it has to be. You rich. At the moment. Vultures in every venture. Got to keep them away. This is what he thinks of you. Don't let him agitate you. This is how he is. So I'm Westinghouse Electric shall endure. It's a parasite. His current kills people only because you said it would. Mr. Edison, if you say something about me or my company again, I would ask that you tell the truth. Automation, transportation, communication, the man that controls that current controls that future. Though he may be unfamiliar to you, his studies have demonstrated an understanding of electrical matters unlike anyone I have ever known. Gentlemen and lady. Nikola Tesla. So what you trade? I fix problems for idiots. The Current War is an upcoming American biographical historical film directed by Alfonso Gomez Rejón and written by Michael Mitnick. The castings are Benedict Cumberbatch, Michael Shannon, Nicholas Holt, Tom Holland, Catherine Waterston and Tupens Middleton. This film depicts the war of currents between Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse. Since late 1880s, Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla were embroiled in a battle now known as the War of the Currents. Edison developed direct current, the current that runs continually in a single direction. like in a battery or a fuel cell during the early years of electricity direct current 
abbreviated as DC was considered as standard in the US. But there was one problem. Direct current could not be converted to higher or lower voltages easily. As transformer which was the key element for conversion could not be used. Now you might have a question for me that why can't we use transformers for the conversion of DC? To know the answer of this question, I would suggest you to go through the mutual inductance chapter more thoroughly emphasizing the part dealing with the variation of the mutual induction process with respect to frequency. And an important point which you always need to keep in mind is that the frequency should be zero when you are dealing with DC. Here you are free to ask me why do we need to convert higher voltages to lower voltages and vice versa? Well, the answer is very simple. To reduce the energy loss due to transmission, we need to do this. Moreover, the transformer is necessary to deal with variation of load, which is quite often seen by us when the lights are switched on during night and switched off during morning. Nikola Tesla was the one who came up with the solution at that moment. He believed that alternating current was the solution to the problems which were being faced through the DC. AC reverses its direction a certain number of times per second, 50 to 60 times in India and can be converted to different voltages relatively using a transformer. Edison, however, didn't want to lose the royalties he was earning from his direct current patents. He started to begin campaigns which aimed at spreading the misinformation that AC was more dangerous. He also started publicly electrocuting stray animals using alternating current to prove his point. The Chicago World's Fair, also known as the World's Columbian Exposition, took place in 1893, at the height of this current war. General Electric bid to electrify the fair using Edison's direct current for $5,54,000, but was defeated by George Westinghouse who claimed to power the fair for only $3,99,000 using Tesla's AC. That same year, the Nigeria Falls Power Company decided to award Westinghouse, who had licensed Tesla's polyphase AC induction motor patent, the contract to generate power from Nigeria Falls, although some doubted that the falls could not power all of Buffalo in New York. Tesla was however convinced it could power not only Buffalo but also the entire eastern United States. On November 16, 1896, Buffalo was lit up by the alternating current from Nigeria Falls. By this time, General Electric had decided to jump into the alternating current train. It would appear that alternating current had all but obliterated direct current. But in recent years, direct current has seen a bit of renaissance. Today, our electricity is still predominantly powered by alternating current, but computers, LEDs, solar cells and electric vehicles all run on DC power. When everywhere we want the DC supply for those devices, we convert them from the AC paying some extra energy for the conversion that is the adapters. However, although very complicated, 
but methods are now available for converting direct current to higher and lower voltages respectively. Since direct current is more stable, companies are finding ways of using high voltage direct current abbreviated as HVDC to transport electricity long distances with less electricity loss. So, it appears that the war of currents is not over yet. But instead of continuing this heated AC versus DC battle, it looks like the two currents will ultimately end up working parallel to each other in a sort of hybrid armistice.